Hello everybody and welcome to the Jester. Uh, I'm John. Uh, Josh is usually here. He's dealing with a family emergency, so we're gonna keep on playing some weird ass games that he wouldn't let me play otherwise. This is Refunct. It's a very chill, very atmospheric platformer game where the object is just to step on everything in sight. Um, I played this once just to test it, and uh, my computer back then really could not run something of that scope and caliber. So we're gonna see here with the sweeping music. I'm gonna get out of the fucking water, and we're gonna learn some more stuff about our stuff. I really need a mouse pad and a bit more area to play around in, because otherwise I'm just slapping a piece of wood against my mouse. Fuck. What I really like about this, and I didn't expect this, this usually was green, but uh, hey, grass can be whatever color you want. Um, all the textures here are so nice. They got a very astroturfy vibe uh, when you don't fall off of them. Um, it's just something, I don't want to be like pretentious and douchey about it, but just something about like distilling core elements of a genre into something that can be nice and fun. See, look at all that shit down there. We have to get to that eventually. Up, oh, up. Oh. So now that we have a goal in mind, there, are, there is wall jumping. I forgot about that. Not good for me. Yes. Yes. Okay, I fell. That's terrific. One other thing. It's really barfy, but uh, it'll help you get places is that my character is able to wall jump. I can't hear a damn thing that I'm saying to myself right now because this is such sweet ass, just, just future chill hop hybrid mix. I'm just going to throw words at the screen until I figure out my life. Oh, God. So there's my pink, and let's go get some non-pink. This probably would have done better with a controller, because you guys are just hearing me slap at myself. I can crouch. This game's going to teach you how to crouch. Figure that out. Um, And we'll jump some more. Go figure out what's in this area. Just look for the biggest thing we can find. And I've gone in the opposite direction. That's okay. You plan your own adventure. I'm gonna ramble about nice things. I'm usually a very cynical person, but this fucking music, man. I dig it. Go! Alright, gotta collect the cubes. Gotta have achievements in this uh, whimsical world-building adventure. Um, oh! Did not expect that to work. Um, uh, something very rhythmic and nice about walking. And uh, if you, yes, I did not expect that to work. So let's, oops, let's go try something else. Um, if you guys are into something a little more artsy fartsy, there's a, uh, a movie you can go out and check out called Jerry, um, spelled G-E-R-R-Y with a G. And it's about two guys, Jerry and Jerry. One of them is uh, a famous guy, I think Mark Wahlberg, don't quote me on that, but whoa. Um, he and a friend are on a tour in the desert, and, uh, they get lost, right? And they're trying to find their way around, and, um, I won't spoil the ending for you, but, uh, um, as they get lost, there are very long portions of time where you were just listening to them walk rhythmically, and there's a very nice, subtle rhythm to it. I hate to be... Oops. No, I don't hate to be. Fuck. You guys can culture. Um... I, I just noticed that when, when Josh isn't here, my douchiness comes all the way out, and I apologize for that. Uh, so let's go back to listening to some nice music. How you guys been? <laughs> While I look around for more stuff to jump on. I found the greys, don't worry about it. Oops. We missed some down there. This is my important friend. Come on, buddy. Guys, if you haven't noticed, I'm not a PC gamer. I grew up on the N64. And this is far, far away from a mouse and a handheld anything. Where am I going? Oh, Patch of Grey. I see you there. I'm gonna try not to... Okay, sit. It's not like this is like a platform I have to go do. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. It just swells so nicely, and it, I know it's, like, not, like, conducive to 
discussion, but it's it makes me happy, and I I, I tell you what, I'm gonna be quiet for a little bit, and you guys can just jam. Wasn't that nice? Four bars is all you need. And like, this had come out on like a cloudy ass day, or it had been out for a year, but I had found it on like a cloudy ass day where I didn't have work, but I really wasn't feeling it. And I was just so chill and wonderful um, after playing this game that, you know, you don't have to worry about all that shit. I played a depressing ass game earlier, and if it doesn't make the show, I just want you guys to know that I love you. Thanks for watching. We're not gonna get any kind of commentary done because I am just so fucking relaxed right now. Uh, if you guys want to leave, I get it, because this is basically 100% of the game. <sighs> I've always wanted to be like a music creator. Not always, always is a bad word, but uh, um, the idea that I can take something that I'm naturally bad or inept at and make something out of my wheelhouse that people can still relate to. I'm a filmmaker by nature, but... God, I'm douchey right now. Got you. Um, since I've been on the channel, I've written, uh... Um, uh, well, before the channel, I wrote two short films, and they're both up on a separate channel of mine. Um, I'm very proud of them. I mean, I'm not proud in the sense that, ah, oh, look at this, because it's too cringy for me to go back and watch since, uh... You never want, excuse me, you never want to be that guy that thinks your shit is perfect every time and that there's no room for improvement. I see a shit ton of room for improvement. I saw it when I made it. I made this, uh, my handling of like human romance is just super bad. So I try to stick to influences that are a little, I don't know, harder to fuck up or at least, oops. I know what you wanted from me. I know what you wanted. I know what you wanted. Boom. Boom. Nope. Yeah, that sounded like an audio crackle. That's part of it. I was also confused when I played this game. Boop. 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 Yes. Let's go do some more stuff. Yes. Up the, up the little building. I mean, it's also like evoking a very, like, like, futuristic cityscape, but it doesn't need details. There's texture, there's wall textures, and there are... Oops. Like, there are wall textures, and that's really all you need. Wall textures and, and main textures, and a couple of other little gimmicks to get you... To, you know, kind of break up the flow of play a little bit, and... I could fucking play this game start to finish in probably the space of an hour. Sit, 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 sit. Huh. Beatboxing. An acceptable substitute for commentary. Let's go. So a lot of the point of those buttons and the colors here is for me to know where the fuck I am going. Because as beautiful as it is, uh, it's a little monotonous. Getting around and getting- you get lost really easy. You're trying to find, uh, the one thing you haven't stepped on. It could be a metaphor for colonialism if it weren't so just fucking jamming. How do we get up there? Let's try it. Oh my god. I'm talking in rhythm, don't talk about what I do because it's not worth your time. JK, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. Boom. If we have dropped frames, that's not gonna be jamming at all. It's gonna be uh, a fairly unimpressive sequence. How do I get to you? How do I, you wanna jump it? Let's jump it. Nope. <laughs> all right, it's okay. We're allowed to fail. You're in a comforting environment. I've been here. I recognize the textures. I recognize the textures. I'm gonna fall on my ass. Where do we go next? That part of the city. Gotta go to the uh, the business district. Fucking ass. 
Gonna go through a lot of emotions here. Uh, it's too late, or it's too early, but one thing I have noticed is that the, uh, the shadows here, uh, they morph occasionally. Like, uh, the sun will go down, and then it'll come back over here, and it has very nice, very nice, pleasing shadows. Yes? Let's try this one. There's one. I can't quite make that, but, uh, trying to make this jump. Jumping! No, I'm never, just always just a little farther away. Let's go check out that. Oh, it's so pleasing. Okay, let's go. A lot of effort went into lighting. I don't think that people like realize just what an important part of like filmmaking and game design that can be. I know you're trying to do like a review show, but if it doesn't look like aesthetically pleasing, that's like the unconscious thing that somebody like watches something and goes, I like that or I don't like that. Fuck. Thanks for listening to me ramble, guys. Oh, no. Sit. I play Mario Golf in my off time, and that's a frequently uttered uh, curse word along with you fucking asshole and goddammit, Bowser. No. Yes. Okay, we're up here. So what is next? I'm going to catch a couple of these things out. And we're going to go up here. Shit. Nope. This should be... No. We're gonna ignore that for now. And go check out wherever we can find some new things to just jump our ass on. It's a very pretty game. I'll, I'll have you say that. I don't know how long I've been playing. I'll play until I'm bored. I probably won't be bored. I got three hours to go and my wife will not be home. So we're a bachelor again, guys. Get to whole fan cave night and eat nachos when she's not around. I love my wife. Sweetheart, don't take any of this shit to heart. Boom. Now we've been up here. Where's the next, the next piece of sass? Yes. Four free. Four free ones. Boom. I wonder how many surfaces there are in this entire game. It's a completely pointless question, but I like asking completely pointless questions. Uh, example one. Uh, what do Hispanics call blackjack? Uh, it's called Bente Uno, which is honestly very understandable. We made a joke in one of the previous Super Mario 64 episodes about how that's what it's called. That's the end. Guys, if you're into music like this track right here, I might really recommend a man named Sigur Ross. S-I-G-U-R-R-O-S. Um, he is a Nordic. I don't want to place down exactly what because I don't know myself. Um, he plays a lot of very nice, calming music like this. With a lot of, uh, of these chime-like textures to the, to the music and the melody. And, uh... I went to high school with a very good friend of mine. Um, we don't talk very much, but she was very much into um, this kind of music, and it really opened my eyes that there's a lot of different shit out there. And I realized that I was just talking about a good friend, and I said the word shit. Um, that's all sorts of dissonance right there. I am completely lost. Here we go. Where are we going? But uh, yeah, he does a lot of really good Really good stuff. Uh, Glossioli is very good. Um, he did a, he did a track at the end of 127 Hours, one of my all-time favorite movies, Danny Boyle. You to man. Uh, highly recommend. Just it just shows that you you can tackle like really violent subject matter and still be kind of uh, I don't know uh, motivational. Because that guy goes through some serious shit. Uh, Aaron Ralston. Aaron Ralston, you the man. I got distracted. Let's go down here. Yes, button. Go down the button. Where's the button? So, we're stuck down there, so we have to go find where that comes out. I found out we can actually dive. And if that ain't some crazy shit, man, I don't know what is. Boom. Look at this little cave. It's such a nice cave. 
Just like, guys, I I don't know why this game didn't get quite as much love as it did, but just the music and lighting choices are fucking out of this world, and I know it's just a platformer on the surface, but god damn you guys. I've been here. I've been here. Let's get that thing. I want that thing. Want it? Gotta have it? Fuck it. <laughs> it's alright. I'm rambling. God, I may just play this game for the hell of it. Boom. Yes. Josh, I miss you. Fucking. Oh, wait. I see more things. I see more Skinners. Wait. Here's some things. You gotta hit shift to, to crouch and get yourself under. Damn it. And get yourself under uh, those little pipes. Those little pipe entrances. Shit. This is one of the uh, longest. Uh, sitting games on our queue of stuff to play right when we rebooted the channel back in I think February uh, I said Josh we got to play this I was looking he said go home and look through Steam library for shit that might be fun to play because I really am interested in doing this with you and uh, this was one of the first that came up shoot so that's my jam right now come on good job buddy let's go down Eh, eh, and I don't know that this is quite the game that you can spoil, but it does have a cute little quick ending um, that caught me off guard. But if you if you if you don't finish the game, I get it. It's not for everybody. There we go. There we go. Chill. Yes. Eh. Shoot. Oh, see more stuff. It's like when you live in a big city. And just, there are parts of it that you're constantly finding out. You're like, oh, I've never been to Old Town, and I've lived here for 27 years. There's something about the big city, and I think that's what, like, my wife kind of turned me on to. That, uh, I always, I always th thought that I'd live in, like, a middle-sized city. Um, but there's something about just the jungle beast that has been written about constantly and doesn't make me uh, creative at all when I talk about it. There's that nice sound effect. But it's constantly evolving. I'm into like systems and populations of people and I went to Chicago on my honeymoon and that shit was ridiculous. Ridiculously beautiful, but also ridiculous in that I am not paying $14 for a cocktail. Boom. There we go. Because it was good. It wasn't $14 good. It was also where I found out that I'm not a huge fan of mojitos. If you're a fan of mojitos, leave a comment below. <laughs> no, you do you. If you hate us, that's cool too. Oh, we'll be back. Or Josh will be back here eventually. I wish I had some sort of marker of how well I'm doing. Can I jump? Yes. Can I gemstone? Damn right I can. You know, I don't think we're ever, we're really close at all. So, uh, I'm gonna play for a little while longer and then call it a night. Even though it's two in the afternoon, laugh track. Oh, my cynicism. Getting the better of me. Done. Okay, now at least we can... Let's look at, let's look at the place we're going about. Yes. Triangle jumps. Should have gotten a running start. That's okay. There are uh, areas for improvement. There are There is room for mistakes. I got that one. I got this one. God, this is calming as shit. Uh, how am I going to title this shit? You guys don't want to hear me talk? <laughs> so even if I turn out to be the fucking best of the world of this, spoilers, no. Uh... I miss my friend, and I hope he's doing okay. So, that'll be the end for me. God, that was dark, holy shit. One, chill. It's reminding you how to use the tube. Reminding myself that tubes exist. God, that's some nice music. 
good. Leapfrog. Shit. I got you, don't worry about it. Okay. Yes, no, got it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, it's such a friggin' charming, aesthetically pleasing game. I'm all about aesthetics, there's one. There's another aesthetic. Just so well crafted, and he had such like a clear vision. Dying. It might be a girl, I'm not certain. Um, as soon as I played it, I visited his, uh, his, hers. Um, her like Twitter page for this game. They are super proud of it, um, as they should be. It's a nice game. And if you don't like it, I get it. That's your cup of tea. Um, I'm not here to dump on anybody for their desires. Because you can do you, and we can all do each other. And I can steal a joke for the first time in this video. All right. Is there anything else I can grab here? Anything else I can grab here? Fudge. You know, I probably am going to link to the Twitter page in the description down below. Um, if you guys want to be more involved with stuff this person is doing. I'm sorry I don't remember their name, but uh... They are, they, they, you can tell a lot of effort was put into this and um... It fucking shows and it, it possibly impacted my life and that's why I'm playing it on the show. Because I want this to possibly impact the lives of others. Um, but, you know, thanks for watching, guys. I'm, I'm running out of stuff, so we're going to call it a night. Uh, yeah, go see what they're doing in the link in the description. We'll be back for something else. Uh, Josh is coming back eventually, I promise. We'll get it together. Let's go chill. Just look at this shit.